For today's adventure, we're exploring the green pastures of Gastown. With me on camera, as always, is Rick Von Schmidt. This is a fun neighborhood that was once called the Granville Settlement and was later named Gastown after a very remarkable fella. Today, we're celebrating John Dayton, better known by his nickname, Gassy Jack. Rick, you want to put up a picture of Gassy? Gastown has contemporary boutiques, tourist-oriented stores, and great restaurants. Here's the world-famous Old Spaghetti Factory. Been serving tasty pasta for 50 years. They were just about to have a big anniversary party when the COVID-19 pandemic hit. And, like a lot of places here, they had to close for now. Here's a local artist making Gastown a little brighter, as many of the places here are boarded up during the pandemic. John Dayton was born in 1830 in England. As a young man, he sailed to North America during the gold rush. He piloted steamships on the Fraser River for several years. Friends said, a good, skillful, and careful steamboatman he was. After that, he ran a bar in New Westminster called the Globe Saloon. And Rick, I think we have a picture from the old 1867 listings. There he is, John Dayton in New Westminster under the heading Liquors. And on another page, you can see him listed as the proprietor of the Globe Saloon located somewhere on Front Street. He was a loquacious host, all his customers, telling them long stories of his adventures. In fact, he talked so much they nicknamed him Gassy, Gassy Jack. And it was here that Gassy first became associated with booze. And speaking of booze, my gastronomic bureau chief, Big Mitch, wanted to come down and swill some hooch as a tribute to Gassy. Unfortunately, he's at home social distancing during the COVID-19 pandemic. But through the miracle of modern technology, we have him live via satellite. And I understand he's ready to take a sip. Here's Big Mitch. And here's the striking Hotel Europe. Built in 1909, it is registered as one of Canada's historic places. And right across the street from Hotel Europe and Maple Tree Square is the famous statue of our hero. Gassy Jack. One day in 1867, while Gassy was away, an employee accidentally burned down his beloved New Westminster saloon. So Gassy packed a small boat with his wife, dog, a cask of whiskey, and paddled down the Fraser River all the way around to Burrard Inlet. Rick, you want to put that map up? He told the fellas at the local mill here when he landed that if they built him a new Globe saloon, he would pay them in booze. And the saloon was built here within 24 hours. His thirsty customers brought him so much success that a few years later he replaced the little bar with his Dayton Hotel right here in Maple Tree Square. And Rick, you want to put up that old picture in Maple Tree Square she once was? This statue was unveiled 50 years ago in 1970. It was made by the very talented local artist Vern Simpson. I'll put a link to Vern's website in the comments below. Vern was so kind as to tell me about the incredible night of February 13th, 1970, when he and some friends brought the statue down to Maple Tree Square. It was all top secret stuff. When they set him up, an inebriated fella stumbled out of the dark, pulled out a rumpled piece of paper and read his poetic ode to Gassy Jack. He took a hefty swig from a bottle and with tears in his eyes, he broke it across the copper knees and yelled, I christen you Gassy Jack. Looks like today somebody has put an apron on the statue, but that's nothing compared to the wild stuff that Gassy statue has experienced in its 50 years. It's been hugged by movie star Dorothy Stratton, seen at least one riot, and even been decapitated. Tourists have taken millions of pictures here over the years. It's become an icon of the city. Recently, Vern unveiled a second Gassy Jack statue that unfortunately we can't access today due to the COVID-19 shutdown. But we'll get to it one day. Whoop, looks like Big Mitch is sending another tribute transmission. All right, we're here in the beautiful Fraser Cemetery in New Westminster to find Gassy's grave. Legend has it that Gassy's loyal doggy began to howl on a dark night in May 1875. Gassy reportedly said, 
there's something going to happen. And then Gassy met his untimely demise. He was only 44 years old. His obituary said, His name was a household word with most of our citizens. He was the first and best pilot on the Fraser River. Gassy and his wife had an infant son named Richard who sadly passed away soon after Gassy. But the bad news for poor Gassy didn't end there. In 1886, a decade after his death, the Great Fire of Vancouver destroyed the Dayton Hotel that he built. Gassy was buried in an unmarked grave here and forgotten for nearly a hundred years. But then in 1971, there was a campaign to raise money for a tombstone. Lots of people contributed, and on September 30, 1972, this tombstone was unveiled at Gassy's place of rest. It says, Here lies John Gassy Jack Dayton, 1830-1875, sailor, prospector, steamboatman, pioneer, hotelman at New Westminster and Granville. And the tombstone includes a quote from Gassy. It says, I have done well since I came here. On the lower left is a picture of a steamboat, a fine tribute to Captain Dayton. Gassy Jack was a big talker and a big dreamer, and now he's got a great view of the mighty Fraser River where he followed his dream. Rick, you want to get a shot of his view here? All right, we're going to wrap things up today back at the famous Gastown Steam Clock for its 3 o'clock blast. This is usually surrounded by tourists, but today we've got it all to ourselves. Special thanks to Vern Simpson for his help today and for his amazing statue of Gassy Jack. Hope you enjoyed this little taste of old Vancouver as she once was. My thanks to Bev Sugarman for makeup and Jewel Hail Mayor for wardrobe. On behalf of Rick and myself, thanks for watching. And until next time, that's a good bee.